Okay, in this segment we're going to cover uh, cleaning the brake hoses, ho uh, brake hose connections, um, part two. Uh, in a previous segment, I showed you how to go ahead and spray down where the connections are. At this time, go ahead and spray the passenger side as well, and that'll give it some soaking time while we're finishing cleaning this side. Now, what we want to do is around the fitting itself. Let me uh, turn the wheel a little bit and we'll get a better shot at that. Yeah, it's a tip or a procedure that um, once you've gotten dirt in the system one time and it damages something in the brakes, um, then you realize the importance of keeping everything clean. And a lot of times I'll, I'll find this step being alleviated or this not being done um, both on professional and individual levels. But uh, I've had a problem with it, so it's stuck with me. Seems like experience is the worst teacher in the world because first you get the test and then the lesson. But and see how I just get that all around that banjo fitting real clean and all around down here on the caliper itself where that banjo fitting uh, seals against. We want to get all that dirt out of there because any contaminants in the system can cause a brake failure. And that's bad. And the same thing with the other end of the hose where it mounts up against the body. And dirt builds up all around up in there. Once we brush it down real good, then we're going to uh, spray it off one more time. And that removes all the loose dust and everything. And uh, the good thing about the brake clean is it will uh, evaporate completely in just a few minutes. And it leaves little or no residue behind. If you've got some compressed air, that works real good at blowing them off and getting some of the debris out of the way. If you use air pressure, remember when you hold the fitting up and get it close to the air you want, turn your face the opposite direction when you actually blow it off and that will prevent anything from coming back and, and possibly getting in your eye or in your face. Now, we want to go to the other side of the vehicle and repeat this procedure exactly like we did it here and get both those uh, connections where the brake hoses connect real good and clean to prevent any contaminants. And I'll just move over to the other side and do the same procedure now. And over here on the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate and do the exact same procedure again. And get that real good and clean. And making sure to use the pan to contain any kind of chemicals that we're putting on there so they, they get caught up in the pan and I can properly dispose of them at the end of the job. And once we've got this good and clean, Then we go on to our, our next step of uh, removing the hoses. And there's two ways I can handle this. I can show you how to do one side of the car. And then if you run into any problems, you can easily go over to the other side of the car and reference how things go back together should there be any difficulty or question in your mind. Um, in this particular procedure, it's kind of touchy as to which way you want to go. You may want to do one side completely and then move to the other side if you're pretty confident that that this task can be done and you can get it back together. I recommend doing both of them uh, together just because of the bleeding process. It'll save you time at the end. Please watch our next segment on removing the brake hoses.